house flipping friends i am here at my first ever for me mobile home renovation we're gonna walk through i got my good buddy alex co here we are in the lovely town of dana point california and we're in beachwood estates right yep. and why don't you tell us first like how you got this deal if you're willing to share yeah so uh it was by yellow letter and it wasn't something so here's the thing it's not a typical yellow letter where you mail it uh, i literally had driven by this car and saw a for sale sign without a phone number or a name or an email and i stopped my car and had a pad of paper and i wrote a letter saying that i wanted to buy her her home and i left it on her door and she called you? Eventually. Oh, wow. So I had to do it twice. Uh, so um, just, I happened to be in the area uh, two consecutive weeks. And so uh, probably about a week after I left the second letter, she called me or texted me. I don't remember. One of the two. And uh, we kind of were going back and forth and negotiated over it. And what ended up happening was she sold it to someone else first. Uh -oh. And so I waited probably another month and a half after that, and then she came back and said like they didn't close, so I ended up with it. And I tried to talk her down on the price, and she didn't do it because she wasn't having it. Oh, but do you okay. like sharing what you paid for? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars for a home in Dana Point. Woo okay, so we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough, and um, we'll ask you some questions along the way. I, I can even kind of give you some stuff like okay. this. So, this patio cover um, was actually dirty, really dirty. It had a lot of like black spots on it. And the outside actually looked in really good shape. We actually didn't have to paint it. So, okay. um, the painting, at least I've been told, is um, on the exterior is always more expensive than painting the interior. Okay. And so, uh, a four hour rental at Home Depot for a pressure washer cost me, I think it was like 35 bucks. And so I probably saved myself about at least $8,000 for having to actually paint this exterior. We did paint the roof and that was only because um, we had some rust spots and stuff like that. And it was really just uh, a paint and primer to seal it. So, but we weren't gonna do any type of like fancy, like re-roofing or anything like that. So. Yeah, we are really close to the ocean in this spot, like yeah. walking distance, maybe a quarter mile. Or uh, about a mile. Mm, a I think bit it less. might be closer, right, less. to Doho, where we're going surfing, right, or my daughter's going surfing after this. Oh, is this? Okay. So yeah, it's really, it's really, it's close. really close. And the ocean air is so hard on metal and oh. ho a mobile home. So yeah, all my bikes that I left outside have gotten rusty, so I know about rust. So you've got to protect the yeah. top if you're near the ocean. We also had a lot of... Uh, we actually got a lot of like spores from like the wildflowers that like were uh, landing on it too, but that was that's really more of like a whatever. Um, it's technically not a metal roof. Oh, okay. It's some sort of weird fiberglass type thing. And but so, it's still got rust on it, huh? Um, yeah, because there are kind of like uh, metal edges. I don't exactly know how all that stuff has happened, but we just painted, we just gave it a quick uh, heavy coat of paint. Cool. just to kind of cover over it and stuff like that so um and i also did pressure wash the the roof itself too so so i was uh i was covered in uh water and dirt tonight. yeah so <laughs> well but, we're gonna go inside and see a little bit of that and then we're gonna hear the rest of the the numbers and alex's plan for what he's doing with the next so alex what is this room and this is this is a single wide mobile home right this is a single wide mobile home it's a careful there um it's a 1972 golden west um this actually was originally a uh, one bedroom and um at some point whoever had owned it actually converted it into a two bedroom okay so this is the second bedroom um this wall they had put in with a pocket door mm -hmm. um what we had done is we actually covered up that window because the plan is is that we can put a closet here and actually turn it into an actual two bedroom okay versus a one yeah and so the original floor plan of this was that this was uh kind of your entryway and this was kind of your and this was your living room uh and the kitchen is kind of like 
over this way. Yeah, so this is a drywall wall as opposed to the other walls, right? Yeah, so okay. I think they had done drywall. Um, they did run electrical, but this pocket door is here, but they didn't really put any type of locking mechanism. And so the plan is that when we sell it, we can either, um, we, I actually have all the materials for the closet, and we already planned out in terms of how we're going to actually put it, uh, install it. But the buyer has the choice of whether or not of having that closet or not. That's nice. Just, You'll just say you'll make it into a closet if they want if it. If they want it. And cool. so, um, although I should find out what my uh, return policy is with Home Depot, because <laughs> I, I probably had it now, for, I've had the materials for at least a week. Oh, they'll take it back. Yeah. Believe me, I return stuff up to a year or more. Well, I also have, <laughs> I have a pro account, so yeah. I have the same thing. Yeah. So they left us, uh, this is the kitchen area, and you know the cabinets were actually in really good shape uh, for the most part. So we didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to do anything uh, with the cabinets. I didn't even want to redo the counter. Um, they left us the fridge. Nice. Uh, and, then, and it came with the stove. And uh, what had happened was that they had actually jerry-rigged, uh, this didn't used to be here. Uh, what the they, microwave? The microwave did not used to be there. What okay. they were doing was that they put a stackable washer and dryer, and they were actually venting the dryer up through the roof. And so what we ended up doing was um, I bought the microwave on Craigslist. And so how much was your microwave? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five bucks. But the funny thing about it was, uh, the it has a bracket for uh, the damper for the hood. It cost me more to buy that little bracket than it did to buy the microwave. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, what we did was um, because it, we basically used the same uh, venting to go uh, for the microwave. Um, but what we had to do is we actually had to take everything out because it also had a ton of lint. Mm. And I didn't want the potential of a grease fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. Fire. And so what we did was we replaced everything upstairs and we redid the entire venting um, basically through the same hole. Wait, what do you mean upstairs? There's a second oh, like, level? Well, no, no, just through the roof. Okay, yeah, okay. You're like upstairs. upstairs. I didn't see a second story. Well, no. I've been walking up and down on that roof, so for uh, me it's like an upstairs. Okay. And so um, the other thing is that they, we had to put an electrical box up on top because they didn't mm. have one. And so that was a bit of a nightmare because okay. what we found was that, uh, we found actually that they had the electrical wires behind this wall but the box was missing. And so what we ended up having to do is we ended up routing, um, pulling the wires up to put the box in. And so that took a lot longer than I thought it would. But, uh, but that is typical of any project, is it always takes longer than you think it will. Oh yeah, there, well, yeah. there's always, always surprises. surprises. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, so was, is the tile um, this is from before? before? This is and it's not even cracked or anything. Um, there were one or two, but it's so not far, that bad. Yeah, Great. Yeah, I mean the the tile was fantastic. Yeah, like these vents are original, and as you can tell, they do not have um, screws. Okay. But I'm planning on not putting them. In okay. Because I don't want to have to drill through the tile. Well, let's check out the bathroom. This okay. Looks like a brand new tub. So, this is the beauty of this is that this was an original tub from 1972, and it was goldenrod. Ah. And so it's a it's kind of a um, like a fiberglass. So what we did was uh, I ended up getting a uh, a guy to come in and replace it for about four hundred bucks. Nice. And so that it looks, looks brand like a new. brand new tub. It's, it feels and looks brand new. That's so beautiful. what we ended up doing was like the uh, shower head, which is not there, uh, is actually in really good shape. Those are not new. Those are original. Oh, they're still in good shape. They cleaned up nicely. Yeah, so uh, I dumped that actually a uh, really nice oh, bath fixtures and vinegar. Yeah. So we didn't. Um, this is original. We just gotta clean that up. Uh, got hardware. Um, uh, now, is there any reason you didn't reglaze this too? Bad, so it keeps pausing. That's okay. Okay. The other thing is, is that uh, I actually had my next the, my next door neighbor was throwing out a mirror. And so we actually have the mirror right here. It's 
big. It's too big for the that space. Yeah. Um, but there's also a mirror place. There's a glass place like yeah. um, right get outside. It cut down. And so yeah. we're gonna just get it cut down. It's this was free. Nice. I always so, love it when you get free stuff. Um, it, I think he'll probably charge me like fifteen dollars just to cut it the size. And so, okay. Um, the width is fine. The height we're just gonna cut down a few inches. And so uh, with a $2 uh, mounting bracket set from Home Depot and some leftover uh, pieces, we're just going to yeah. mount that. And so this is the original bedroom. And so you can tell this is all wood panel. And did you paint it all white? Yeah, so okay. we did We did everything white. Uh, ceiling, walls, um, I think in total, I think we spent, uh, it was about 10 gallons for everything. So that includes the roof. Uh, ceiling and the interior. All right. So, yeah. Cool. Well, why don't you give us a little summary of what you expect to spend in all your renovations and what your plans are for it next, if you're going to rent it or sell no, it? No, uh, they won't let us rent, and so we're going to either uh, sell it to a cash buyer or what we'll do is we'll um, carry a note. Okay. And so, um, generate some monthly cash flow yeah, mailbox so money for you. Mailbox money, hopefully. Um, so I think with, in terms of the holding costs and everything, we're probably about five grand for that. So we are probably in it for about 15. Okay. And then I'm hoping to sell it probably anywhere from like 55 to 65, hopefully. Nice. So hopefully. <laughs> Woohoo. So, that's awesome. Yep. And so that's pretty much it. Yeah. And so for those of you watching, if you want to get into house flipping, but you don't have Five hundred thousand dollars, but maybe you have five to ten grand. In this case, it was ten grand plus five for rehab. You can get into flipping mobile homes. It's a great entry level point to hop in, or maybe you do one of these on the side while you're doing some other stuff, like Alex. So yeah, brilliant. So he left her two letters on her door. And then she called him, and she held her firm ground at ten grand. He came in and did it, and. Spent another five renovating and plan to sell it for 55 or 60. I mean, I hope you get 60 or more. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, and then they'll obviously take a down payment from the Yeah, buyer. If we're going to carry, so, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll be happy to take a, uh, have a cash buyer. Like, go ahead and just buy me out. And then, yeah. You know, even Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button to be notified of future videos by me. Go to the website hardhat holly.com to get your free download on how to find houses to flip for profits.